She did have a basket full of Valentine's candy, so. Dude, she oh. probably bought it all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hey, surprised Seth doesn't call me off trunk. tomorrow because there's probably going to be like nobody there. I don't want to be called off because that's money. But... I do. I don't want to go in tomorrow. Wait, so... why would there be nobody there tomorrow? It's Valentine's Day. Nobody comes out to the VK for Valentine's. Got some fucking heart-shaped meatloaf. <laughs> <laughs> they were joking about that. That's all like if we do fucking heart-shaped meatloaf, I would fucking kill myself. <laughs> I told him that it would be like a roulette where if uh, you served it and the meatloaf broke in half, then it wasn't meant to be. Oh my god. <laughs> I also asked him if uh, for a million dollars if he would Fuck shit you, out Dylan. Magic 8 Balls and predict is that people's what, future. Is that what you asked him? Yeah, I said for a million dollars, Seth, would you shit out a Magic 8 Ball to predict somebody's future? Can, could he choose future, who's not his own. Well, it's yeah. like they come up to him and they ask him, hey, is, is this person the right one for me? He'll go, hold on. <laughs> and then he's like, what does this say? As he's like trying to relapse his anus. <laughs> and they're like, it wasn't meant to be. He's like, oh, it's okay. 50 bucks, please. Are we recording this? We need to be recording. Yes, I am. I didn't okay. Are you already recording? Yeah. yeah I get into the chat and I start, but obviously. That's fucking edit. gold. Oh, my God. It no. sounded like you were snoring. I was like, did you? I <laughs> my nose. No, she's doing God. cocaine. I'm snorting. Seriously. Fuck. <laughs> Sam, Welcome. we talked about this. <laughs> no, we did not black. have any fucking conversation. I don't want to have a conversation. I do what I want. So, are we getting back on the Thirsty subject of shit. your grandmother's ashes and how it's actually cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. This one's for you, Grandma. <laughs> oh, my God. That poor woman. Uh, yeah, I didn't know her, but, well, I, I almost jostled did. her ashes. She was, she was a wonderful woman. She was wonderful, and she would have loved you. No, she would have fucking loved you. Send your parents don't even know me. I don't think she would mm, love me. It doesn't matter. We talk matter. about my, that real quick. By the way, real quick, welcome to the Whiplash everybody. Podcast. Sam, tell that story about how your mom doesn't know me, or something. Uh, what? <laughs> it's not that she doesn't know you. It's just more like I, I don't know. I forgot to say. So who do we have here today? We have me, Dylan. The family disappointment. Uh, you said you that can't the first say that episode. twice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sam. I'm sad. Hi, and special guest Allie. Woo. Replacing Jaro today. Woo, I'm a replacement! <laughs> Yay. <We're> filling <laughs> in blanks. The, the greatest thing ever. I try to cycle out the cast. I even want to do a podcast where I'm not on it, where I'll, I'll like set it to record and I'll just leave, and then I want to edit and that'd not know like, anything anyone talked about. That'd be crazy. <laughs> like, yeah, imagine see, like my... if we talked shit about... We wouldn't talk shit about you, but we'll imagine if it. that were to happen. No! Because yeah, I'd be editing, oh, I'm, I'm like, motherfuckers... It. <laughs> my issue, my so issue with mean. doing it without you is I feel like it would end up getting really um boring, Rocky. like a lot of empty space. No, nah, just like Aww, we yeah. all stop talking for and a second. Chris, Chris is muting himself. No, we're not that boring, are Chris, we? Chris is good for filler. So you're saying I'm like any of the Naruto subplots? What? I don't know what I'm doing in here. You're the filler. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> so you said, no, you're... you said my name, and now I don't know what well, you're going to say. Allie, you're going to have your own segment, but for now, we just get to riff. Sam, what what was your mom saying about me? How she doesn't get to know me? She didn't get to know me or something? How is that a meme? That's not a meme. It's not a meme. <laughs> I didn't say it was a meme. Okay, you said meme review. It was so. a PewDiePie joke. A joke. Oh. My oh. man, Flex. Oh, I didn't get that, sorry. Listen, okay. Yeah. Um, bitch, bitch, no, bitch, this is like, listen. I feel bad. I like, listen. I don't want people to think my family hates you. No, they don't hate me. They just no. don't know me. I mean, they Dylan just does, don't know you. Yeah. yeah, we know that. Like, I hate Chris no. or Sam's family. Like, me, me and yes. my mom were kind of having like a, like a personal talk and stuff like that. And, and she's like, well, she's like, one thing that I just kind of feel bad about is that we don't really know Chris. I mean, we do, but we like, you guys lived here for two years and he didn't ever really come over she's like I, I think he might have come over like maybe 10 times and i'm like yeah that sounds about right yeah that's what i do <laughs> i don't go anywhere you thrusted me into like 35 of your family members the first time i came out there i did i feel, i still feel bad they're all like that. welcome to michigan we I like to talk really. over each other and compete in their voice volume it's fucking true though that's my you sound family. like what's his name from sanity not included was it the season two finale i can't remember the, the oh boy, oh, boy. Oh, no that was like yeah. season four 
Was it? I yeah, that was um, Ross Black Dragon. And that was like season four finale or whatever, where he was. Um, oh yeah, because the first where he's making out with a uh, paraplegic girl. He like loved uh, her. Huh? It's you. Ha- it's an anime. It's like Allie, one of the best anime series. Have you ever seen included? No, I haven't. I <gasps> reference it constantly. Oh god. What? So all right, Allie, Wait, you're coming over, and we're gonna binge it because I have them all burned illegally on DVDs because they don't make. Oh, DVDs. Seriously? I had Jake burn them all My for god. me. They don't come out on DVDs. You know, they didn't do it like that. So we burned them. So oh. Dylan. Apex Legends, right? Apex Legends. Oh. <laughs> that I really knew that was gonna happen. And we have um, been playing I'm... the shit out of it. I'm really good. I drop like, if we get to the end, which is like 90 percent of the time, I drop at least eight kills, eight to 12 kill- kills. Holy crap! He does and good. I, um, I shit talk. I, I I shit on kids' throats. I'm just like not inside, Dylan. like on their throat. Yeah, what's up? When are you gonna start playing in the real game, not the tutorial? <laughs> I don't know, bots. Chris. What about you, Mister Two Kills? Truth comes out. Yeah, Mister like kills, four knocks, like thirty, Mister twelve hundred damage, and nine fucking uh, knock assists over here. I'm the MVP in assisting. That is, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's true. Uh, Almost every encounter we have, it's Chris got six assist knocks, <laughs> but there were only because... three enemies. Oops. It's because I I play way more aggressively than Chris, and then when he tries to be aggressive, a lifeline comes up behind him and says hello to his ass. Yeah, it's lifeline and wraith. It's Both of them lifeline. sneak up behind me. Are like, hey, guess what? We have fully decked out peacekeepers. You have a you have a legendary shield and full health. But guess what? One tap back of the head. You're dead. You're nothing. Sit down. Eat my shit and fuck off. And what- then <laughs> I come in, kill them all. And I'm like, his, uh, how are I? Because I feel like battle royales are just so repetitive like yeah but so it is i was telling dylan this yesterday i was telling dylan that it doesn't feel like a battle royale in the general sense of battle royale because you have Mm -hmm. the heroes and their perks and like their abilities so it's like overwatch and yes and um fortnite (laughs) like did you not watch my video fortnite I watch, yeah, I did. I watched some of it. I didn't watch all of it. Some. <laughs> Don't just laugh. I watched oh, a I minute can't. and then clicked out, you know? No, it's not one of my videos. I am so very disappointed in you. I'm sorry. I didn't. But the oh, no. thing is about it is that it does have a different flow to it. And once you find a niche character that you enjoy playing, it just it doesn't feel like a battle royale. You kind of forget you're playing it when you're. You know, in an engagement hot on enemies' tails, they're calling care packages and mortar strikes. You're like, oh, yeah, I only have one life. I, I will agree with Chris there. It, you know in the back of your head that you're playing Battle Royale, but it has a combination of so, so many different games. You know, like the Overwatch character uh, situation. You can respawn. Like, yeah, I was about to say. Eliminated, you can grab say, you can your respawn. teammate can grab your banner, bring it to a respawn point, which that specific one can only be used one time. Yeah, each and you respawn in. can be used once, but it's like you so, can get brought back in. So the stakes are high, but they're not nearly as high as, say, PUBG, where you get domed across the map by some dude with a fucking P99 somehow. And then you're like, oh, well, shit, shit on me, I guess. And this one, it's like, oh, hey, I get downed. Hey, revive me or respawn me completely. That's yeah, awesome. Which is, which is nice. So if you drop in with your friends or even randos, if you get killed right at the start, you, you don't want to just leave right away. Like, well, fuck, there's no point being here. You can actually come back and win you can make that comeback really satisfying there's been a there's been a few situations where like halfway through the match uh chris and like usually jarl or whatever will get you know their pp split in half and i'm like well (laughs) shit, they'll they'll both be eliminated and me being me i gotta clutch up and whatever it's like no do what i have to do and i'll grab the banners and i'll go respawn them and then we win the game there was one time that chris um Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think, yeah, <laughs> I think you and our, I think we were playing with Jay, somebody, I think our teammates died nonetheless, and I had a golden knockdown shield, which that specific one, you can, uh, if you get downed, even if your other two teammates are dead or downed, you can uh, respawn yourself. You can self-res. Like, yeah, you can self-res, basically. And mm-hmm. I did that, and I got back up, killed the guys while they were looting everybody's corpses, grabbed their banners, revived them, like, respawned them, and then we won the match because yeah. of that thing. Which is, it's, it's there's so much, um, between the characters' abilities and the guns, which Chris and I counted them today, and their viability, which was fun. There's somewhere um, around 18 guns if we maybe missed one or two, but what we could count, there are 18 different guns 
and they can each have a myriad of different attachments you can put on them so you can customize them to a degree and make them uh, perform drastically different. But between, like, characters, their abilities, the fact you can respawn uh, golden items, which is the highest tier, they have specific um, abilities, like the knockdown, you res yourself, the chest piece, which is the most worthless one. There's just there's just so much to the game that it gives a little bit of depth and there's eight characters and but uh, the best thing and... about it right. let's not talk about this too long because they don't really have anything about it but the best thing about Apex Legends is fucking Pathfinder no fuck Pathfinder no Pathfinder is the best hero he's he's one of the legends and he's a robot who's like um a super... I'm looking at a picture right now he's yeah. awesome <laughs> he's like he's my favorite character because he can he has a passive ability where he can um uh, predict the next uh, ring the me- the next zone. His reusable ability is a grappling hook, and you can fucking... I'll be like, hey, Dylan, I see you're halfway across the map. Give me two seconds, and I'll, I'll fucking fling myself over there with some nice jump slides and grapples, and I'll go over there like, hey, what's up? I'll fly past him, and uh, then okay, there's... Okay, well, he's being overdramatic. That is not I'm not. What Dylan, I will show you a clip uh, later once I edit the six-hour <laughs> footage. Um... And then you, his ultimate ability is a, just a complete zip line. He shoots out like at least I don't know, three hundred feet or so. He can shoot a zip line, and just your entire team can use the zip line, just zip across the map and get somewhere safe, get somewhere up high, and get somewhere awesome. And it's great because I <laughs> I fucking use Pathfinder, and I saw that there was a Gibraltar, who's like a big tank dude, healing his friend around a corner. I ran over there, jumped, zipped on the corner of a building, did a horizontal swing around the back, and kicked him <laughs> in the spine and killed him. I can confirm. I was Chris went was up there. awesome. As, as he said, he went down to zip line or whatever, and I was pushing down with my character. I can't do that. And I see him zip around the I corner. Hold my beer. I, hear, I hear, all I hear is... <laughs> And I see up in the kill feed that Chris fucking kicked the guy to death. And I'm like, I walk around, there's like three corpses, and Chris just sitting there looting like, oh, fuck yeah. And I'm like, what is happening? I watched it. Sam, let's talk about porn. Oh, I don't want to talk about porn. I'm jail B. I can't. I okay. can't. No, who said porn? Dylan, you're going to jail. Who said porn? Allie, let's talk about something. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> I just want to quickly say how fucking excited I am for Game of Thrones to come back in a couple months. I am I've like. I've never seen that. I've seen that, like, please, couple me too. Episodes. Don't spoil it. I... I'm not going to, obviously, but it's going on to, like, season eight. I think there's six episodes. It's the final season, and they're all, like, an hour and a half long each. Oh, all right, you know what? A... Oh, one God. of you, Fucking one of you's going to drive up, pick me up from school tomorrow. We've literally so we stated watch. this. If you're able to come down to us, we will do it. I However, literally we're... can't. You can't <laughs> leave ooh, ooh, ooh. or I without getting in trouble. Ding, ding. Lala, bing, bing. Fuck that shit. Did you just bring back that, Dylan? Was this 2008? <laughs> My mom and I used yeah. to sing that all the time. That's like, uh, like, Chris, that's like Anna, 19, not like, not like or 70s. you know, friend Anne, but mom's friend Anne, she used to, uh, her and I used to like sing them in the car. And I think we were getting a car wash one day or whatever. That's so did, cute. Uh, quote unquote, car wash. <laughs> Chris, I was Chris, a child. Chris says as he bites a banana Laffy Taffy. Mm. Ew, those are the worst Laffies. They are. You're so God, good. Wasn't the only Fuck one. you. Joke's on every rapper. Hold on. Hey, vamp for a second. Let me find it. What do you call I'm a lazy looking. bull? Um. Hold on. Wait, I gotta think of it. I know, me too. A lazy bull. Um. A bull that's taking a nap. Hold on. Uh. I'm literally, I'm like, my, my head hurts from thinking so hard. Sorry, I was scratching huh. my butt. Uh, what are we talking about? Damn. You say you usually let your butt to her head. I, I, I. My head hurts. Have a Sorry, I'm scratching my Allie. butt. I'm, uh, I was. I, just, like, I don't know. I can't think of it. I can't you can give up. What is, yes. A bulldozer, cause he's dozing. Oh my Jesus! Suicide, suicide. Let's all commit oh, suicide. Hey. Jokes oh, are bad. God. Make me sad. So are we gonna do it Monday then? Um, sure. <laughs> Let me hit it, but I gotta text Madre and be like, yo, Monday, um, don't fucking do anything. Thanks. Madre got going. There's well, wait, no if, that's, if that's the case, I'm already spending Saturday to Sunday. Um, sure. Would I just spend the night again? Why not? Yeah. As it's much as okay I sorry, Sam, that. you can't plunge my ass on this weekend, so <laughs> you're gonna have to wait. As much as much as I hate staying away from home and how much I don't want to spend two nights, I'll I'll do it, I guess. Wait, that means Sam, don't we can watch Game of Thrones. Ah, uh, no, don't you? Oh, right. Game of <laughs> oh You guys can braid yeah. each other's hair. <laughs> I, no, okay. wait, actually, Sam, yeah. you can't braid your hair. 
Is she, she, she can, she, well, it, mm-hmm. it's long mm-hmm. enough to do. Yeah, no, it it's is. long enough. I can't bring my it mohawk it's anymore. Long enough. It's extremely difficult Thinking because it is so short. But it's long but, enough. It's, but it's, it's not impossible. Mohawk. It's not. It's just extremely difficult to you, braid hairs. We'll, we'll watch an episode of Game of Thrones if you fucking read. I told you, I will. Yeah, but... Um, wait, wait are, read, you, are you getting him to, to read um, read Vengeance? At your place. Yeah, just fucking try to. I'm, I'm Dylan, fighting him. I'm fighting how have you not read it? It's, I've explained it a million I times. I can't say anything about it. I cannot say anything <laughs> about it because Chris did not say anything about it until we get to a podcast. I'm not going to explain it again. It's like, ah. so, you sound like you're rocking in your chair just like, don't say anything about it, don't say anything about it, don't say anything about it. I am! Yeah. <laughs> you're like one of the mental patients of fucking darkness, too. Uh, <laughs> I'm... I'm weird. It's taking everything in me not to say anything. I'm not kidding. <laughs> okay. Uh, like, next. it's bad. Uh, by the way, uh, the Origins should be there Tuesday? I want to say. Oh, you did send it? Yeah. Fuck. It's, it's short. Oh, it's I'm much sorry. shorter. Yeah, he was like, is Ali's like, that last hey, name? Beep. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, oh, okay. Is it actually, actually like this? Did you pronounce it right? Yes. And Are you sure? Yes. I mean, we okay. can say it now. Believe it, Dylan. No, I know, but he's like, is that actually that? And I'm like, yeah, and he's like, well, I didn't know she had, like, a fake uh, last name on Facebook or whatever, and I'm like, no, no. Because I know people on Dylan, Facebook, they do. <laughs> yeah, see, I know people on Facebook change their last names or, like, they just put stupid fucking names. Not not saying Cow's a stupid minute. name, but I know a lot of people just, like... Now I gotta check that out. Like, Sam. Isn't that, like, the flame from... Yeah, yes. like me. Yeah, how's Moon Castle? Perfect. I have vengeance right out in front of me, and I'm on the page. <laughs> at the page I'm hey, I have it. Shit, where's my backpack? Me. Hold on. Where's my backpack? Backpack, 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 backpack. backpack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're back? Okay. So, um, I don't know why. I was just kind of snooping. No offense, Allie, but I was snooping on your Facebook page to be like, oh, hey, uh, what is her last name? Because for some reason, I thought... Your Facebook name. I thought your, uh, I thought your name said Allie. So when I was looking at it, I seen that, and I'm like, oh, okay, that's definitely not it, but I can see the similarity. So then I seen that the very first post that you have on there. I don't even know what it is. It's you go back? about, uh, no, 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 it's like the first post. It's like January 30th or something like that on Facebook. And it was about uh, the new um, American McGee Alice oh, yeah. game. And uh yeah, I am fucking pumped for that. Wait, I wait, wait, wait. on my Facebook? Yeah. Wait, where are the? F- or you shared it? I'm pretty sure. You uh, shared a link for it. It was like an article probably. by Game Byte. Yeah. I'm scrolling through. <laughs> yeah, all I know is that I have mentioned this to Chris multiple times. I don't know why, but I had so much fun playing that game, and I think about random movies and games and different quotes and stuff that just go through my head all the time movies Mm -hmm. and games that i haven't played for years or something that i just saw a week ago just random things will come into my mind this game comes into my mind more times than not all parts of the game the different the different levels and the different dresses she wears just like for some reason it just comes into my head all the time and i told chris i I want i would love (laughs) to do a stream of alice madness returns just because I had so much fun playing. I even, I played um, the first uh, American McGee's Alice because uh, when I had Alice Madness Returns, for some reason it had DLC with it. Like for some reason it was already included and normally you were supposed to Fuck pay it. for it. Well, no, normally you were supposed to pay for it, but for some reason it came free with it. And you could play the original game with it. And I always wanted to play the original game. So I was like, fuck it. I'll just play the original game. Beat it within like a couple hours. I was like, all right, that was fucking fun. Not as fun compared to the second one, but it's still good. So I'm fucking pumped that they're going to make another one. I, I really... It's conjecture, it says official. Though. Yeah, it says no, official, it says but official. how long will it take to come out? Because there's so many things that have been official and can. Let's look at Crackdown 3, how long uh, it took that to come out. <clears throat> let's look at kingdom hearts 3 how long that shit <laughs> exactly took to come out. so i wouldn't get too excited too early it's like when they tease a movie a year and a half before it comes out it's like okay hold but on to your excitement it's got a title it's alice asylum oh my god it sounds so fucking awesome it will, it will it. present the story before Al- american mcgee's alice with young alice fighting through the trauma of her losing family mm-hmm. um yeah that's 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 like the gist of it that's basically it but it's because yeah. i mean they do technically touch 
very, very, very briefly. Yeah, when in she were, the when second she was game. walking around the asylum, right? Yeah, when she I was walking that. around. Yeah, when she was walking around the asylum, and then she, the um, dumb twins are in there. Tweedledee yeah. and Tweedledum. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the yeah, dumb yeah. twins, the Tweedle twins. Tweedle um, twins. Yeah, the Tweedle twins. Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Or Jesus Christ. Tweedle Tweedledee and Tweedledum. And Tweedledum. Flamboyant. The Tweedled- they were in Wolf Among Us. This is really, really off topic, but I was confused with one part in Vengeance. Okay. Okay. So, let me go to the page. Dylan, mute it. Spoilers. A I'll little, yeah, a just, little bit. Yeah. So, um, just know that we're gonna have a really, really, really long discussion once I'm I finish the book. Like, there's, I'm, I usually keep post post-it notes in my books like when i'm reading it i will I write that. down things i do it all the time like the books i've read were filled with post-it notes but i hadn't with I yours know. because i can just stop it <laughs> 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 with yours it's just such a unique book and it's really really good it's so fucking good chris no, so it Jesus. just sticks in my head i'm no. not kidding there's but there i still we're gonna i'll, I'll save everything for when we really talk about it but i want to i'm delve sure you probably up. found like grammatical mistakes weird sentences that came out and like maybe some stuff that didn't flow perfectly it's yeah. because the book exists that... in a state of me constantly working on it over like eight years and some stuff didn't get retouched and re um that's so under it's understandable like it's just, i don't there's so many I'm things i just i know that like the beginning doesn't flow as good as later on because you can see basically as you from the beginning to the end how i improved as a writer as it was going oh, yeah. because like the beginning is kind of choppy and a little bit messy and then it gets way more the, the flow becomes more natural it's more poetic it's blah 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 but it really just... like i i can if i were to go to the beginning of the book and read let's just say a paragraph and then go to the page that i'm on and read a paragraph there's it there's a difference I don't mm. want to say a big difference because I don't want to make it seem like there's two different people writing the book but mm. it, you can see how much you improve yeah the- and, and that's what I'm also afraid of, though, is I'm afraid of people trying to read it for the first time and not being able to push past it. But that's why Sam said it's good that the beginning has such a strong hook that it gets it them does. to push past that and yeah. then gets them oh, yeah. in. So yeah. the beginning wasn't like that at all, I got to tell you. But we got to no. talk about the way the beginning, like the, the amount of changes. I can, I can tell you some um, alternate endings that were supposed to happen. I have a whole lot of shit I can go over with you. Uh, yep. <clears throat> but we can't do that now. We're doing the podcast and right. Dylan's alone. That's right. <laughs> yeah, we, right. Should, we should get Dylan back. I feel bad. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, t- I'll just mess with I'll get back. Hello, with you. I'm really excited. God. About that. Yeah, oh, no, sorry. Don't. sorry. There he is. I'm like sitting so. here, my knee up on my chair, my cheek against it, just scrolling through Instagram. Yeah. It, it's <laughs> difficult because for, for getting into stuff, but Was name one video game that has had a major dollars. impact on your life. Life is the strange. The Dark Souls series. Uh, oh, hey, come on. Now. Let's talk about That's Life is Strange. I know. Because Sam mentioned that. Life is legitimately no. Life is Strange. I'm not, I completely it, agree with that. It. Oh my God. Have you played? Have you played um, Captain nope. Spirit? You haven't played nope. Captain Spirit? There was no nope. achievement, so I didn't. <sighs> I heard it was really nice Wait, and endearing. No, there's three. There's Before the Storm, yep. there's Life Captain yep. Spirit, and the second Life is Strange. There's no, Life is Strange, only Life is Strange 2, Before the Storm, and then Captain Spirit, which I didn't know Captain Spirit was in the same universe. I thought it was just yes. by the same publishers, just, you know. No, oh. it's the same. It, it corresponds with Life is Strange 2. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. I can't even I can't even describe. I literally finished episode one today, and I was crying. Like, Sam, you're in for a fucking roller coaster. Wait, wait. W- which one? I'm really uh, confused. Uh, Life is Strange 2, episode two. I mean, the whole okay. thing is a roller coaster, yeah, but, like, yeah. Two. Okay, that's what I thought. Because that, that's what I was thinking about today. I mentioned that to Chris. I was like, we need to talk about Life is Strange. I was like, I know she can't really talk about it because, A, spoilers, but, you know, still. Like, but we can I talk know. about what Life is Strange means to all of us because Sam and I hold a really deep and the connection. the original one. Yeah, yeah. The, the original. For us, it's just like it's emotional. It's an emotional connection. Life is Strange for me personally was um, one of the few uh, storytelling games that I really got attached to in that I was mm-hmm. literally theorizing possibilities of the outcomes of like uh, episode four when that happened when you wake up in the dark room and you're trying to figure mm-hmm. out like why – I, I mean we can spoil this on? because it's so old but why your uh, – Mr. – was it Jefferson? Was that his name? Mr. Yep. Jefferson? Why he yeah. was the one who was 
doing everything, and I thought I was going like string theory, just like why is this happening? Did we do something that changed this past? And then it wasn't yeah, that complicated. But I was it really literally, makes you think. Yeah, oh I was looking around like, what did I do, or what did what happened to make it so it was him? Could it have been somebody else in his place? If I did <laughs> like something fucking, different. Um, oh god, Nathan. Yeah, Nathan. Dude, dude oh this my whole, god. This, I'm not even kidding. This entire game franchise has fucking changed my perspective on a lot of shit. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I realized after the first Life is Strange game, I realized how much the butterfly effect actually has like a role in everyday life. Don't let's like, talk about infinite universe theory. <laughs> oh, <Jesus. laughs> oh which is the that. bane of Seth's <laughs> existence. But no, like seriously, I know I'm mad at the game, and I respect it so much that it made me hate a character like Nathan so much, and then still feel pity but for him at the end. I know, like, God like damn he it. literally, I know, I hate what he did. I absolutely like it. There, there's no justification for what he did. No. Nothing he did was right. But he was also being used by Jefferson because he's a piece of fucking shit. Yeah. And he had no, he had no control. Well, he had some control, but he was being manipulated. I just, I can't. This whole fucking. Yeah. Wait until, um, Captain Spirit. It's free. Just play it. I'm I not have downloaded. I just there was no achievement, so I hadn't given it the time of day yet. Well, well, someone play it. Someone I'll fucking play it, play it please. Play it I'll, I'll play it. I'll play it. And um, sure. before the storm, please play we that. That clears I mean, up I play a lot. That. Of I played that. I streamed I, it. So I. I, I know. All that. See the reason I Me. wanted to play before the storm, but the thing was is that. Chris had done the first episode, so I tried to stay awake for that. Obviously, I fell asleep, which was yeah. kind of like quote it unquote, sucked. We streamed it. <laughs> yeah, quote unquote. I moved the, a I couch into the office to record it, it and Sam falling asleep on it while I was playing. I did. I fell asleep. I was always tired all the time. Anyway, yeah. we're not going to talk about that or awful, horrible life. Um, it was Michigan. <laughs> it was Michigan. Um, but no, I uh, I wanted to play it, but the thing is, I also wanted to watch Chris play it. But I obviously fell asleep, so I was like, "Okay, I'll just catch up." And I'm like, "No, at this point, I'm already, you know, far enough behind. He's already on like episode four. I, you know, I might as well just, I might as well just not watch him play it and just play it on my own." So was I just it's... haven't gotten around to doing it. Before the storm was only three episodes, right? It was something like that. I don't know. You were just like yeah. almost done. It's really short, it but it's it's it's, it's short, but it's jam packed. It's it's a fucking it roller coaster. Yeah, because like, you learn about Chloe, you learn about her past Rachel. with Rachel. Yeah. Like yep. it, it explains all of that Which, on their side. I'm gonna be honest. I didn't like Rachel that much. She annoyed the hell out of me. I really, <laughs> I really didn't like her. I <laughs> I have I have a love hate relationship with her because yeah. I I prefer Max and Chloe because they were like the fucking dynamic duo. Like they were unstoppable. Yes. But I Rachel agree. and Chloe, they kind of like used each other. Yeah, yeah, they were using each other for stability, in a sense. Yes, but I still appreciate Rachel because at least she brought, like, fucking happiness to Chloe and, and vice versa. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. they were, even even though it was roughly in a, a toxic friendship, they were, like, she was still there when all the shit went down with Rachel. I'm not going to, like, say it because I don't know. Who knows? No, you can say know. it. Okay. No, it's the thing. It's yeah, like, I it's do. spoilers. Spoilers are open only because of the fact that it's the game for is so, so old. Yeah. Okay. That's All right. that's one thing we didn't say about spoilers. I think uh, yeah. TV Christian shows and movies are two weeks past two the weeks, release of it, and then games and then are two like months. Oh, yeah, two months or okay. something like that. Yeah, okay. so. so. So you're good. Go for it. Um, Rachel's dad had been cheating on her mom in a, in a sense. Like, her, her stepmom. She was aware of yes. the cheating, and it was like. But because he was cheating on her mom with Rachel's actual mom, yeah. So that was a whole thing, and which but, is well, like yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Did they well, ever explain why she's why she suddenly could psychically set shit on fire? Um, do you remember that? Because she got mad. Yes, as I shit do remember that. Up. I <sighs> okay. I don't think that part. I think they made it look like it was psychic, but I don't think that's actually what I think. Some I disagree with that actually. Only because, isn't it true that in Life is Strange 2, there are technical supernatural powers or whatever? There's like yes, some, but like, only with two, only with one character. It doesn't matter. The same okay. thing happened yes. with Max. The same thing happened with I Max. Know. The same yes. thing happened with Rachel. And now you got Life is Strange 2. There's got to be something. I have a feeling in Life is Strange 2, they're going to explain it. I even even fucking played the other games. And I'm like, <laughs> if there's one character... And life is no, I know that has something supernatural. There's something in the fucking water. I don't know what it is, but it's gonna get explained, Hepatitis or at least they're B. gonna hint at it. I, Hepatitis B. I, I really, I think that 
it's it's I'm not disagreeing with you. I it's definitely a possibility that that she does have powers, but I think more so it was leading towards representing the town, like Arcadia Bay. Uh huh. Or possibly like her life, like how it felt like it was crumbling after that. Right, right. But I feel like if she actually had powers, they would make it a lot bigger than that. Because yeah, cause that was the only instance with, we saw. Exactly. And with Life is Strange 2, with, I'm not, I guess I can't spoil it because like it's still coming out, but one of the characters that has powers, they focus on on that character. Like they make that a big thing. They like to focus on that because that's, that's kind of their franchise is the whole power thing. Right, but right. it's confusing it's because universe. that's their universe, that's their franchise. But did they ever fully explain why Max had it in the first place? Like she just suddenly had it, like with the I she think... saw the butterfly, and then then they um Nathan and Chloe came in the bathroom, and then she was able to reverse stuff like after that. It I just... think it was just a spark because the universe wanted her to save Chloe. As as much as the universe also tried to kill Chloe, yeah. and all the times that Max saved Chloe where she should have died, like that. There's a which was a, a lot that. Exactly. Yeah, okay. yeah. Take, take like a, a fucking theory breath. that she meant she was meant to die. Yeah, like that, that was, that's a theory. Yeah. But I think I what well, in my personal opinion is that the universe kind of like oh, well, we don't want her to die this way, or we don't want her to die yet, so we're gonna give this person powers, sort of like playing God almost. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. I don't know if that's like what they were trying to do, but like that's that's kind of that's why head. i didn't want to get into life strange too because i was it wasn't max and chloe so i was like mm. i that's <laughs> that was exactly my mindset but i started playing it and i promise you it's so worth it it okay. i know it's not max and chloe and i it feels so different like i was playing it today and i was like i really miss max and chloe but it's such <laughs> a good story i'm not even kidding it and it really touches it really like hits home for some instances in it for me anyway like it, it really it gets really fucking emotional it gets yeah. into that's a concern of mine is how is the how is the dialogue in the sense of not how it's written but moreover how the characters speak like there was a lot of times where max and chloe were so cringy it felt like it was written by your uncle trying to write a teen drama <laughs> with what they were saying um. <laughs> It felt Life is Strange weird. 2 was definitely better. It's okay. more so, instead of the whole, like, cringy friendship stuff, it's more like cringy big brother stuff. Yeah, I was about to say, it's brothers. Okay. Yes. So that kind of makes it, brother but stuff it's not is as a lot more easy, right? Yeah, yeah. They had it's, some it's really cringy lines in the first I one. know, mm -hmm. but it's still, I, it, I, I don't know. I feel like it kind of brings more, it, like, sheds more light on the whole, like, high school friendship friendships aspect of it as well, because, like, those are awkward, too. I hear you. Like, I don't know. The whole thing. I just, oh my god, I love Life is Strange. I'm not even getting, like, I'm smiling right now. I love it so oh, much. We can hear it. I know, we can hear it, yeah. But then <laughs> that okay. brings us to, like, why it's special to me and Sam is because back when uh, we first started dating and everything, Life is oh, Strange, I, I got her into playing. I said, Sam, you have to play this game. And I watched okay. her when she finally sat down and played it when she was living in my in my bedroom at my parents' house when we were mm -hmm. crammed in that bedroom. Um, and she was playing it, and... I was just I was doing my thing and watching her go through the game and she was just like so invested in it and then the uh, the soundtrack itself became synonymous oh with God. driving um <sighs> along the road driving along like the woodland here with the mountains in the background mm -hmm. and um it's... just that whole like indie rock music genre and then also became our music uh, that we associate together because like one of our I songs know. is oh, obstacle by sid so matters it's obstacle and by sid matters there and it's just like this so the entire franchise as much as like um i'm almost in a sense moved on from the franchise because i got closure with the first two games in a way it still holds that place for me because of what it meant to us I feel like I just want to add on to this real quick, only because I know poor Dylan has not been able to speak yeah. for God knows how long. And that's like ten totally minutes. Just, I know. Chilling. It's like welcome hey, Dylan to the podcast, is, everybody. Hey Dylan, how you doing today? Who Thanks for coming do? down. What I just said a simple little call. Of I just asked a question and just sparked into a thirty-minute conversation where I couldn't speak. That's yeah. Oh, sorry, it's fine. I mean, Dylan, wasn't that your plan all along? Yes. Well, we have to make yes. up for the fact that we have can't. you not played it, Dylan. Um, I played no. the first Life is Strange, and I enjoyed it, but I haven't okay, played well any then, the others because I don't care. Why don't? Well, you can jump I don't in. Care no, nope. yeah, exactly. Well, no, What's because I have you? nothing. I have nothing to contribute we because my, the question everything. was: the question was, what game is like left an impact or whatever? The game didn't leave an impact on me. All right, Dylan. So then for you, what game left an impact for you? Besides Dark Souls. Yeah, no, seriously, like all the Dark Souls games, I have. I don't know. Just, Siege breaks his heart a lot. 
Yeah, but yeah, the, yeah. I don't I don't know if the game necessarily <laughs> like, left an impact because there's no story to siege. There's a story in Dark Souls. I have time invested in it, a lot of good memories with Jarold, uh, Nick, even you know just friends. I mean Jake Parmelo. Like there's just so much that I've done in the game, and you know the PvP, the PvE, the bosses, learning about them. That just I well, I've said it before. I'm, I'm like a yeah, exactly. I'm like a. Uh, a walking Dark Souls encyclopedia. He's a it's Dark Souls to aficionado. To some extent, like I mean, a lot of the lore I couldn't quite tell you, but just I just What's I, with I love the game. I, I my next tattoo I want to get is going to be Dark Souls related. Oh, I can't wait to give you your Christmas present, Dylan. Oh God. Oh. Well, that we know what it is. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. I still have the Ruby figure to give you and the Elder Scrolls <laughs> pin. Yes. I'm like excited. I'm. Oh my god. Oh, by the way, I, f I totally forgot to mention this. I was fucking talking to my mom about you guys. Um, So I was oh, like, yeah, no. no, they're coming up I'm on so Monday. Sorry. And she was like, all right, just just don't go far. Don't do drugs. Oh, right. that too. So yeah, Um, I'll see you guys on Monday. Yay. 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 And actually have a reliable car that's legal so we can drive in a nice style. Dude, that car. means I actually have to shower yeah. and take care of myself. Yeah, shower. Yeah. You gotta get rid of that. At least stash. I give you. I, give I you shaved the. You gotta yeah, shave your legs, Dylan. You gotta get everything. <laughs> gotta shave your legs. Gotta that bush. <laughs> I gotta shave my butthole. I'm kidding. <laughs> Dylan. What do we bring? Cause what, what's our plan? Um. I still want my alone time. Yeah. Can we? Yeah, not in like a weird way, but like because the past yeah. two times has been all of us. But yeah, never no, be you guys. Down yeah, that's why I didn't want to go alone with just Dylan because it's like when you guys have your alone time, what the fuck do I do? Exactly. No, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> you just go sit in the go? car. And just... I'll go explore a haunted <laughs> sanatorium by myself. Brb. Ttfn. No, 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 no. Ttfn. So I know this is kind of backtracking real quick, but um, about life is strange. I know we don't want to talk about it. Bye, Dylan. We do, but we don't. <laughs> No, no, no. It's just. Real... Was... I was just. I was just thinking oh. myself about like what it meant to me. I like Chris had said. I just recently moved to their place and stuff like that because I was staying with them for the summer. Um, and I remember when I first, when I first moved there, I was perfectly fine being in the environment and everything. But Until then, you hated it. No, no. But then I realized how everybody else was, except for basically his parents and like Olivia which is his youngest sibling. They kind of all hung out together and they hung out in an open space in the dining slash living room. Everybody would go to their rooms and do their own thing. And I, I wasn't used to that. I was from a family where we would always do stuff together and we'd always be together and just interact and stuff like that. So when everybody kind of did their own thing, I attempted to do what I was used to doing, which was hanging out with my family. So I would, I would, I would, well, I, I don't know. It's just what I did that was my comfort zone my comfort zone was being with people and I'm still kind of like that to this day I'd like to be with people so I would hang out with his family but it would just it would kind of get awkward like quickly just because they they just don't really know how to keep a conversation going for very long and make it interesting We're I don't know not a very social family no I not said, parent wise yeah you're but... including yourself I'm not yes. including you I'm including your no, parents I'm well, I know, but I'm saying it's also whole. sheltered too. Yeah, we, we're, I, we're like, yeah, yeah, we're just like, uh, yeah, do, do my thing. I tried to do that, and that just kind of didn't really work. So then I just kind of adapted and did what everybody else was. I literally just locked myself in Chris's room. This literally. was before. This was before. I, I mean, I wouldn't lock lock the door, but I would just stay in his room all day and never come out until he came home, and then I'd maybe come out and say hi. So I'd basically, I'd be there from morning until night and then they'd be like we haven't seen sam all day literally because she's been in the room all day um but uh i don't know i just i i it, it was hard for me to kind of adjust to that and i'm just now kind of thinking about that and when i was first there i i could kind of feel a little bit of like depressive vibes because i wasn't working at the time i didn't ha i start my job for at least like a week or a, a week or a week like, and a half. It was like two weeks or something. You were, you were alone something. in the bedroom for a while. That's why you got a, lo a lot of like strange done because you were it playing is. that and you're like, hey, look, I cleaned, I cleaned the room while you were at work. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, thank uh, you. I, oh, my God. Sounds like I'm but sweeping. No. So, but that's <laughs> the thing is I would talk to Chris about this and I, at first, I was trying to get into Life is Strange. I was trying to just play it. I was trying to play any game. I just something to bide my time so that I wasn't just sitting in the room doing fucking nothing for hours. Mm -hmm. And I would find myself trying to play it, but then I would just kind of, like, get 
almost these depressive vibes and just fall asleep at odd hours for whiles at a time and then try to wake up and motivate myself a little bit and then I just like find myself falling right back to sleep and I don't really know if it was because I was homesick or if I was just in a weird environment with like weird you know uh, not not I know I'm not (laughs) traditional not traditions no not traditions like just I don't I don't really know the word I'm trying to look for like atmosphere lifestyle with a, a with an well, I don't know what the first word I was going to say. But just different to your uh, just, lifestyle. No, osteoporosis. I just different. I just different. <laughs> a unique but different ew, lifestyle ew, than ew. what I was used to. So I tried to get into it, but then as I started playing Life is Strange more and trying to push myself to play it more, I started getting into it more. So I feel like now that I think about it now, Life is Strange was really what helped me grow into the environment of Chris's family and the way Chris's mm-hmm. family just does things in his house and just New Hampshire in general. Just like it made me, that game kind of centered me in a way and be mm-hmm. like, okay, everything's, it, it did, it grounded me. Like it, this made me okay with this whole new life change, completely moving away from dates over, away from my family to absolutely nothing except for Chris and his family. Some fucking weeaboo that she had I did. Long. I fucking uprooted myself and wasn't ready for it, but then Life is Strange basically made me ready for it. Yeah, so man, I, Life is really strange. So, life is really fucking strange. Like and then that it's funny because so. then we moved back to Michigan. She was like, all she ever said was how much she missed being in New Hampshire. I did. And she would listen to Life is Strange just to kind of like reconnect with that. She's like, I all miss the, the trees time. and the mountains and the smell of the I air. Do. And... I do. No, I do. I can actually That's breathe there, but not yeah. Michigan. You walk out to Michigan and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> I can't breathe. Smog. Through the rain and through the fucking weed. It's stifling. Yeah. And then you and come out here and you're like, awful. oh my God, I have lungs. Use them. <laughs> breathe a lot. So one more thing that we should talk about to involve Dylan. Thank you. I'm Who's... kidding. I really oh, don't Dylan. Hey, Dylan. I really don't mind. That you Dylan's here? I don't even know who Dylan is. Huh? I, I just went in my room all the anymore. time, so I never came out, so I never got to meet my family. <laughs> no, like, to quickly touch on it, like, seriously, we're not a very social family. Like, we never hug, family. unless it's, like, uh, an emotional moment, but even then. I can't, so I can't leave us leaving and go to Michigan. Like, no offense. Yeah, dude, I, don't, I went to my room and I fucking sobbed. That hug with Chris was, like, <gasps> dude. Wait, is that the one, cried. the yes. picture? Yes, that, that picture. I've seen? I fu- dude, my <sighs> heart was my heart was throbbing in pain, and I went to my room and I was just like, <sighs> and Olivia I didn't understand. Like Henry was oh, she like, had no clue. Oh, okay, later. bye. bye. <laughs> my mom was like, I can't let you go. I'm about to go. It's 9 p.m. I have to drive for 14 hours. I gotta go. I want to get started. Go. It was 6 p.m. No, you left at like no, 6 it was, no, no, it was like 9 p.m. Yes. No, it was not. Dylan is correct. It was, it was 6 to 7 I remember. No, I don't it, was like six, yes, it was like 6 it when was. you were giving the hugs, and it was like 6.30, so when you guys left. See, so, you know, you're wrong because I'm stubborn. November 14th, uh, 20. 16. Don't has a plaque on his wall. He does. I remember emotional moments. I do not. It's like the time I when that. I almost And then you visited brother. January 10th, 2017. And then you visited... Uh, uh, no, wait. It was in May. It was May 10th of 2017. And then you visited January something of this no, we, past we visited, year. No, we visited... Yeah, say January we visited that. We surprise yeah. visited in like yeah. May or whatever. May 10th. Yeah. yeah and then we it's actually May 10th to the planned. 17th. That was a fun moment. I, that was... I got... Ah, shit, I have to re-upload that video to the new channel because that one's still yeah, privated. Yeah, that one's fun. We flew out and surprised. Well, that was one of my favorite things I've ever done. Just like, hey guys, what's up? Uh, 900 miles. How you doing? Dude, it, 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 right. it had to be me to open up that fucking door. Don't know. just it like, did. fuck you. Yeah, he was just like, fuck yeah. this, or whatever, and I walked away. Fuck I didn't this. know how to react. He really tried to close the door on us. He was I just did. like, fuck this. So, obviously, at some point, I had to be introduced to you, Chris. And Are you talking I think about it was... in person or, like, online? Online. Okay. The first, so, obviously, I knew Dylan. So, when I first heard your so voice, sorry. I, me too. Um, <laughs> when I first heard Chris's voice, it sounded like Dylan, and at the t- I don't know if Dylan still doesn't believe me, but at the time, Dylan was like, no, I don't sound like Chris. Chris doesn't sound like me. I, I agree still. 
What you got? It's Sam, have, please we back have me up. Some, yeah. We have similarities, but I don't think we sound well, close enough. Here's the thing: I have like six different voices. I have Chris just woke up voice, which is about nine <laughs> octaves too low. <laughs> I have my Sam, regular Chris voice work. where I'm disinterested <laughs> and I'm just talking in monotone. Get up at seven in the morning, you gotta try thirty minutes to work. Sam, Sam, okay. Have a good day. Yeah, okay. Sam's <laughs> crying. And, have a good day, and then I have you. the Chris voice where I'm talking to my nana, which is about nine octaves too high. Hey, nana, oh, I love you. you. How you doing today, nana? Oh, that's great. Oh man, hospital again. Sucks. Nah, I really. Stop! I'm sorry. No! No, I know. I'm really sad to hear that. I know. And then I have just like me at work. There's there's too many Chris voices. Sometimes I sound like Henry. Okay, Henry sounds like you guys too. I fucking hate all of you. And 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 Jake and Dylan look alike. I hate all of you. Chris and I look alike. Jake looks like Henry. No, yes. no, 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 Dylan, Dylan shut up, you're not part of you. Dude, listen, I don't want to, I don't want to look like anybody in my family, because you guys are all fucking ugly. We're ugly. Oh, that sucks, <laughs> Dylan. But then there's me. I think, I, not to be so self-conceited, as much as I fucking hate myself, I think I am the most attractive out of us all. Dude, I'm hot. <laughs> Sorry. Fuck you. <laughs> Chris, I think you're second. Did you just see me in a Dylan, sucks? Dylan, explain <laughs> how we fucking met. It was li literally we met because of our mutual friend Nick it was like, hey, I have a friend named Calcifer and he's really fucking hot. And I was like, oh, bet, okay, what's his Facebook? And she snooped and was like, wow, he's fucking hot. And then we ended up in an <laughs> Xbox party together because Nick was like, hey, my friend Allie wants to meet you. I'm like, okay. And then I snooped through her Facebook. I'm like, wow, she's fucking cute. And then and then we became that's friends. It, yeah, that's how it all started. I fucking knew it. We were all, I feel like. Because Allie was attracted to me. Okay, don't and actually give us one sided like, asshole. And she likes to make the uh, the comparison between you two meeting and then her and I. Say, meeting. does she know that Ooh, story no. of how what Sam yes. did? I yes, because you two really met over you two met oh, over God. Xbox and you guys were madly in love for two and a half years or whatever. Allie and I were yeah. not madly in love or anything, of course, or even dating. But oh, for the sake of it, well, we still met over Xbox. No, I don't mean meeting <laughs> over an Xbox. I mean what Sam did when she, when they flew yes. out. Yes, we you oh. you told me the story. I think I think three okay. times. Um, no, I know. I don't mind hearing it. Like I love. See, it. I don't think I told that story three times. I don't. I'm not the one who usually tells the story. Sam is. Well, you guys were both in the car. Like it was one of the first times we had. Can we talk about at work the toilet in the office smell like? Dude, fuck. the toilet <laughs> in the office smelled like a fish bowl that after like nine fish died in it and you left it in the hot sun. Seth is saying. Are you guys talking about my fish again? What the no. fuck? Seth oh, yeah. is how, saying how, that it smelled like broccoli. <laughs> Smell like steam broccoli shit out death, and then that ate broccoli and shit out more death. I used to death. go in there. I didn't want to smell. So Seth put saran wrap over the top of it to block the smell. He did. Well, it's because the water was turned off. The, the office and the the owner's office has a separate um, pipeline for their bathroom, and so they Selfish. they had the water shut off because they're in Florida, so no one ever uses the bathroom. So that they had their water shut off, and then. Apparently, Seth opened up the bathroom. By the way, it was about 30 <laughs> degrees hotter in the bathroom. It was musty, and it was like a porta potty in the summer. It was fucking disgusting. And then just the <laughs> smell, just like a wave, took over the kitchen. I was We're sitting like, doing whatever the fuck I was. <laughs> Probably nothing because it was so slow tonight. But I hear Seth go, Chris, come here. And I'm like, I'm kidding. And they walk in the bathroom, and I'm like, they're kissing. And I hear Chris go, I smell so bad. <laughs> It, it sounded like it originally sounded like Seth was like Chris come here something about bagels and I'm like I think you need a bagel in there. Yeah. This is where Seth makes his bagels. What an interesting story. He's like Hank Schrader but with bagels, not beer. I can't do this. Oh my god. It's okay, See, it's so fun when I talk. Fun. I bring all the I bring all the enjoyment. Yeah, Dylan brings the lols. <laughs> all right, moving on. on. So <laughs> on. who brought a plunger where? <laughs> I mentioned I okay, so I asked, about, I asked like, our boss, I'm like, hey, hey buddy, I'm listen, I was like, hey buddy, do you want to be my Valentine's tomorrow? He's like, Yeah, sure, I got you. I'm like, oh, cool. Yeah. And uh Chris mentioned something about a plunger. And um Jeez. and I was like, So, you know, when I nut in your ass later, can I use the plunger to like fold it on to like, felch the, it suck out. it out? Yeah, the, Chris, yeah, felch. <laughs> to felch it out. Just <laughs> What kind of word is that? Felch is felch? basically the definition of felch. Felch is unofficially give me my cream pie back. <laughs> he said it worked. Yeah, it's where you, you obviously you eject forcefully, mind you, um, a mound of semen into an a orifice. Mound? It could How much be do you it, um, enough to form a mound, dictionary wise, <laughs> um, into the anus or the vajuji. And then you go, time out, hold on, babies are a no-no if it goes to the juji. So you stick your mouth on the on the sewer flap, and you go, 
And you pull it back out, and then you have two options. You can spit it in her face or swallow it. It's that Don't girl be who wanted to be nut in her ass yeah, for a while. Yeah, Puerto can pull out. Don't be a bitch. We already went over this. Dude, no, there was that girl who, like, <laughs> continuously messaged me here and there, like, not my ass. That. And I kept, yeah, and I kept asking, like, why? And she's like, because you're hot and I want to fuck, but I don't want babies. If that, listen, and I'm like, I want, I don't know you too, I'm not going to nut in your babies. ass. Dylan, yeah. and you still funny? sit here and you think you're a fucking dumb bitch. People told me I had pretty eyes. At least you know it's not a bot, so? because if it was a bot, they'd be all, like, just fucking come in me. Oh, you're right. It's not. No, I've snapped okay, her. Okay, I'm she's nearby. I've snapped I'm nearby. her. i Oh, yeah. She, well, was, she was my friend way. for a little bit, but then she was, I, just, I just kind of stopped talking to her because she still said it here and there, and I'm like, yeah, well. No, it's, so, like, it's not even the age of consent, but I mean, I mean, what if the person who's 17 turns oh. 18, and then all of a sudden they're legally an adult, but they're dating somebody who's still one year it's behind? The, what happens? It's the uh, Romeo and Juliet law, which is a little complicated, but. Yeah, it's all fucked up. Mm, this is weird. All fucked up. As long as it's not like a twelve-year-old and like a thirty-year-old, we're all set. Never but trust anyway. somebody who knows the age of consent in all fifty states. <laughs> Jesus. Shit, I gotta no. leave then. Yo, bro. <laughs> they just said the zodiac is only fourteen. Dude, I heard that the Idaho age of consent's like fourteen, and dude, you're like but, rank thirteen. Listen, the age of consent in Alabama is seventeen, but if your family, the age of consent nine. in Alabama is fucking pug. But, yeah. <laughs> but if you're related, it's nine. Yes. yes. Yeah. Shout out to Alabama he... for their progressive <laughs> sex laws. Legitimately, is that true? Did you guys know the pedophilia is becoming an actual sexual preference that they're trying to get validated? Yeah, and it's what the wow. fuck. The so fuck? we got the neo Nazis. I mean, not... Dylan, and I'm sorry, but I don't support. I like how I her mic cut <laughs> out so as she yeah, said that. It. I don't support. Like, Insert don't... whatever you want there. Black people, the gays. <laughs> I did. I was gonna say I don't. Speak. Aegon Targaryen. Joke's gone. Fucking whatever. Uh, okay, whatever. enough of those conversations. <laughs> Boom. We can cut back in. No uh, longer. I'm gonna bleeping. save some of that. It's gonna be like beep. It's gonna be like Alabama beep. <laughs> oh fuck yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be. I'm gonna make it fun. Alabama beep. Fucking beep. Age of consent. Oh, Sam's literally smoking a 12 pack right now. <laughs> 12 pack of cigarettes. I don't even know what, what size do cigarettes come in. How many cigarettes? Like 16 or something? Um, I don't know. 20. And There's 20. sizes? Oh, yeah. Like 20 them, yeah. I, yeah, you have the normal and then you have the longs, which are like I'm way longer. Sure it's eight. Yeah, I know longs. Thank you, Dylan. As if it wasn't. <laughs> maybe it's, yeah, maybe it's 8 to 12 in a normal. Fun and fact like the most the popular pack. cigarettes I sold that work in a Dollar General in Michigan were hey, Pall Mall Blues. Bro. Oh. They were like $3. Yeah. They were super cheap. Hallmall Blues were oh, super cheap. Makes... There was this one dude who came in and got American Spirit Blues, and he bought his wife Monsters, and then there was... God, I love Monster. There's so How many fucking How do you remember that people. shit? Because, Sam, I did it every day, and they came in every day. I guess yeah, Allie's got to fucking go to bed. Yeah, she yeah, got school at right. a.m. You should have been off this podcast four minutes ago. All right, thank you, everyone, for you listening right? to the Whiplash Podcast. You can find us over on Podbean, on iTunes, Spotify, and on my YouTube channel. Guys, uh, what social media do you want me to include down in the description, Allie? Do you want, like, Instagram plug or anything like that? Um, sure. sure. <laughs> I guess so, sure. <laughs> okay, go follow Allie's She's like, Instagram. yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll put Sam and Dylan stuff down as well, like usual. I want, I I'm, hey, hey, I want you to go ahead and put my info information on there. Is this an ASMR? Okay, yes, yeah, seriously, both of you need to shut yeah, the fuck yeah. up right now. I don't yeah, know what the fuck. Yeah, this is where I fucking this. leave. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Alex. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, <laughs> and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Suck my dick. I love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.